Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So, we have a bit of a dilemma here. The silage bales are on the trailer, but they're only 38% fermented. And we need the trailer for the straw bales, because the price for straw is currently at its best, it's January. So, I think what we're going to have to do is unload the silage bales next to the cell point, but not actually in the cell point, and then just push them into the cell point to trigger once they have fermented, which will be probably, probably next month. Maybe at the end of the month. Sorry, Combine. Uh, yes, I've put that onto a worker. Chainsaw is about to join. And then that field there can be turned around. But that's not going to be enough work, I don't think, for this episode. We always have plenty to do. So, yeah. <laughs> I need to remind myself not to drive through the trigger, which want to be nearby. So the trigger is down there, next to the straw bales. Which want to be... Actually, I could just push them off, couldn't I? I could just... If I go a little bit closer, very conscious of going too close though. Too close, no cell. A straw. Oh, sorry, it's grass. No, that'd be weird. Not a straw. Yeah, if we push them off there, I'm hoping that is outside of the trigger. Like, we don't even need to be neat. They just need to be off the trailer. Off the trailer and out of the trigger. Yes, why is it whenever you don't want the bells to fall off, it's really easy for them to fall off? When you're intentionally trying to push them off, it's really difficult. <laughs> they just keep trying to stay on. Ah, uh, it's just the way it is. So yeah, anyway, we'll go to the field which is currently being harvested in just a second. We'll check on the combine and make sure it's all good. As I said, Chainsaw is about to join, so he'll be able to take over or do whatever he wants to do there. Right, I think we have probably run out of space, but if I just do a sharp turn, they might come flying off. Hopefully they do. Um, I've crashed into a tree. There we go. Well, <laughs> I will just tidy that up. Don't worry. We'll be nice and neat. Well, neatish. Very conscious of my comments recently. There's been a few negative ones. Not not so much on this series. Crumbback especially. People say I'm not putting any effort in. To be honest, I have done that series for a while now. It's a great map, but I just like to keep things fresh. Just want to move on to a new map and hoping to do a realistic series on the next map. Um, when I say realistic, I mean realistic, in inverted commas, because obviously there is a game limitation, and there is a limitation to my knowledge as well, so, um, yeah, you know, as, as realistic as it can be. Here we are, right, so the combine is full, and as usual, it's full in the worst possible location, with the auger on the incorrect side. So... We'll let Chainsaw pull alongside, and we'll unload. Then I can hopefully put it back onto a worker, but as soon as the worker starts to make the job painful and slow, that's when one of us can take over. Alright, it's good. Lovely barley. Who else can remember when Farming Simulator had one crop? Just wheat. <laughs> FS 2008. Yeah, although there was, I don't know if it was a mod, it might have been a mod, which added grass, and you could you could mow grass in a select area. Although it might have been the base game. But yeah, the, the only cereal crop was wheat. But it was still great fun. I spent hours playing on Farming Smoke 2008, but probably not as long as I spent on 2009. Yeah, I spent hours and hours on 2009. Least time was spent on 2013, just because I was busy with college work. And uh, oh crikey, you absolute buffoon, Dagwin! Nobody look, nobody look. Just gonna do a bit of bale fishing. Okay, I could have cut that out, but let's keep this genuine. Actually, to be honest, it is quite difficult doing this bale handling with uh, the combine still working away. There's not much space to manoeuvre. 
5,000 litres per bale. Yeah, this is the smallest baler. We can't really afford anything bigger. We are looking to get a bigger combine harvester, but we're going to wait until we can have a relatively larger one than what we have currently. And we did actually find one. We were having a look and we did find one. And we need 110,000 pounds. It's not even that big and it's certainly not modern, but it was still, for the header trailer, header and the combine itself, 110,000. So we do have a little way to go. We're going to have to stick with this combine for a while. I probably should move the trailer. That's probably part of my problem. Oh, am I going to lose connection? I usually do. It wouldn't be multiplayer if I didn't, so... The only problem is, where's my tractor going to end up? It's definitely going to save lost connection. Where did my tractor end up? <sighs> In the crop. I took my foot off the accelerator too. Crikey. How annoying. Yes, it is a little laggy today. Right, so yeah, we've got to the trickier corner. I'll move this bell so it's not in the way. And it looks like I should probably jump across to Chainsaw Tractor so we can continue the bailing. I won't put that right next to the trailer because otherwise you can't unload. Okay. Yeah, so we'll keep this going. And then hopefully once we get back onto that side, we can swap back over, I can continue moving the bales, um, and the worker can continue with the combining, but we'll just have to see. Like Chainsaw might feel that he's comfortable putting the worker on sooner than that, and he can then take the massive focus, or he can take this tractor back. But I think currently it looks like it's going to require a human to do this corner. Okay, so here we have the barley. We're going to get a full load here. In it goes. And I do believe that the price is very, very good for barley. Well, but yeah, it's not going to get any better. It's January, it's always the best time. So, 661 decreasing. That is just so good. 657 is usually the peak, or has been a peak. Uh, so, fantastic timing for that field. And of course, we'll get the environmental score reward bonus as well. But we are progressing nicely. I feel like we're always around the £20,000 mark in the bank account, but we've actually spent so much money on new tractors, and we did actually buy a new plot of land as well. Different implements we've been purchasing, so we, we yeah, we've made loads. We've made absolutely loads. I 
I think barley just isn't the best crop for making big money on. But it is as good as it gets. You wouldn't want to be selling it when the price is worst, that's for sure. So yeah, there we go. Over £8,000. Full again. Or close to full. No, he is full. Wow. I guess we didn't fully empty. Whoops. Previously. So that'll be uh, the end of this. And then we just have the bailing and the moving of the bales. But yeah, more money to come in because of the selling of the bales. Quite a few. There's been quite a lot of them. Oopsie. So I'll just move these ones over here. the last of the grain so we'll see how much we can make hopefully about 32 would it be in total maybe not quite that much no still could be worse so it's probably gonna be best to put this trailer in the yard and then we can finish loading the straw bales and then we'll have another Nice big lump sum of money coming in. No idea how much it's going to be. At the end of the day, it's just straw, so it's never going to be like £50,000, but even if it's £10,000, it's still quite good. Although it's probably more going to be like eight, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. But I think it is going to be a full trailer. I might be hanging around a bit, waiting for the bells to be produced. I think they're all going to fit. So I'll probably be loading one at a time. Makes it easier though if there's no rush, so it's good. Right, so we have space for two, four, six, seven, eight, pro probably eight more. Uh, yeah, we're not going to have more than eight, I wouldn't have thought. So the question is, will we get one more, or is that it? No, I think we're not going to get any more, no, okay, so let's go and strap these on, and we'll get them sold. But yep, that is this field finished, but it does now need to be turned around, we need to get it growing again. Not bad, 95,000 litres, um, yeah, I think usually when I do a trailload of bells, it is usually over 100,000 litres. It's because these bells are small. But still, we have 95,000 litres to sell. So it really, really couldn't be a better time, I don't think, for straw. Oh, crikey, why is the, uh, why is straw wood so little on this map? It's usually about 150 the max. Hmm. Unless it's our difficulty setting, but I'm pretty sure we're playing on easy. Are we not? Maybe we're playing on normal. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yes. This time we do want to go into the trigger. I think, yes, 10,000 is probably pushing it, but it would be nice to be surprised. Well, yeah, almost 9,000. That's pretty good. Ah, such a barren field. 
Oh, actually, I know you do need to keep soil sampling. I need to renew it. I guess we're okay currently. Yeah. Alright, so Chainsaw has got his drill set up. I can get my drill set up as well. We don't need to, but <laughs> it'll be so fun and fast. Oh yeah, we've got the new bigger roller too. Hmm. Now how do I how do I get this out without destroying the crop? It's been left in a bad place by me. I think it was me. Did I put it here? I can't remember. I think it was. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did actually use fertilizer for soybeans before. Shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. Crikey. Not good, not good at all. Maybe we should expand this little yard that we have here. Yeah, we are running quite low on fertilizer. Okay, so Chainsaw is putting in soybeans, so we don't even need fertilizer. So when we run out, it won't even be a problem. But this should be really fast. Just look at our working width. Two of us at this. We, we'll probably be done in four minutes. And yeah, I don't think that's exaggerating actually. So yes, it makes sense to do soybeans because it's about four or five months, I think, from drilling to harvesting, maybe six months, which is going to bring us to about July, which is when the soybeans are priced at their best. So once again, this field is going to be harvested at the best time. We want to keep timing it like that. It works so well. Everything goes in our favour. Anyway, as I said, yeah, it's going to take literally just a few minutes. So I'll see you in a second and we'll be done. But we'll probably have to roll. Rolling is always good. Told you. Look how fast that was. Amazing. Yeah, so this wants to be positioned somewhere where we're not going to destroy even more crop by picking it up again. Um, there isn't really anywhere in particular. It's a bit of a, a pain to store, actually. Although, actually, maybe the next time we use this, this crop will have been harvested, so... Yeah. Ah, we could do a lap of here. That would work. Possibly. Would it work? I don't know. Well, we'll find out. Next time. I can always reverse it out. Right, so yeah, Chainsaw is going to do the rolling, which means I am left to find another job. We'll check upon those greenhouses and stuff. Make sure everything is going well over there. Make sure the sheep are happy. Yeah. It's nice to have £40,000 almost. Oh, no, don't lag now. Oh, that was so lucky. I could have ended up in the river again. That would have added to the statistics. I think it has actually been a while since somebody ended up in the river. Right, so yes, we do just have two pallets each. So not that's only 2,000 well, litres in total. So yeah, it's not too bad. I do find this tractor's got a mind of its own in multiplayer. Well, it's the same for all tractors. They all do the same thing. They just suddenly start randomly reversing, and you can't stop it <laughs> until you stamp on the forward pedal. And the front loader does that thing as well, where it continues to move. Price for lettuce is... 
Oh, must be quite good. Yep, I think we'll sell them. I wonder if I can take four all at the same time. That would be quite a challenge, but not impossible. Actually, I'm interested to see. And yeah, if we need to get more water, we will do. Actually, now is a good time because there's no crop actually germinated in that field. So it won't destroy the crop if we drive in it. Okay, so if we very, very carefully position this completely up against that one. Yep, and then like this. There we go. We have got we've got all four. Wow. Will I make it in one piece though? That's the question. I am going to jump cut, but if I do drop them, I will admit to it. <laughs> Look at that wheel. It's airborne. Whee! Ah, oh, I dropped one. Luckily, not too far from the cell point. I was getting a bit overexcited there with the wheels up in the air. But that system worked surprisingly well, despite the drop. Oh no, that system didn't work too well. Ah oh, no, what's going on? How did my front loader get underneath? Yeah, that was worth quite a bit. Trickle in a bit more money. Good old lettuce. 982 plus 89. Oh, nice. So it's still over a thousand pounds a pallet. Right. So, yes, the money is going up and up. Right, let's grab this tanker. There may be some water left in it. There is. We shall unload it. The tractor is going to need diesel soon too. Okay, so that has filled that one then. So if we just go and get one more tanker load, that should be enough to do this one too. Really keep you on top of things. It's so much easier if you keep on top of things. And this lovely grass field will be cut again in a few episodes time. Maybe it would be worth doing potatoes or something like that with some small scale machinery. Suggestions are welcome down below. Yeah, because we do have quite a few different options available when it comes to potatoes. As you can see, they're quite low cost. We can harvest them for 8,500, of course though with that, We'd probably have to scoop up. Oh, actually, no, it does have a hopper. It does have a hopper. Nice. Yeah. So, um, I, I think potatoes, maybe. Maybe potatoes would be a good thing to do. Definitely not on a large scale. It would take far too long. But maybe going up that way, in that direction. Because we do still own land up there. I think this grass field here is going to remain grass. It's a really good place to have grass. Those fields over there are too big. So yeah, a new plot could be potatoes. And there we go. All the water in the world. If it wants it. Which it doesn't, thankfully. Because otherwise we'd be here for an eternity. So uh, yeah, that is all done. That is everything done. We own up to here. So yeah, you can see the. this is the piece that we cultivated. We could cultivate up to here, have that as a plot for potatoes. Um, currently it's low quality grass. I could still cut it though actually. I think I'll cut that anyway. 
We could cut it and row it. We could even wrap it. I've got nothing else to do, I don't think. So we might as well. The biggest problem is finding the boundary. That's going to be very difficult to do. Well, I say it would be diff difficult. It would actually be very easy because it would tell us. But mowing over the boundary line is a bit annoying because you can't then pick it up or, or windrow it. So it leaves a bit of a mess. Where is the boundary line? Although sometimes I think it does still let you mow over the boundary line. No. Well, I'm pleased. So I guess we'll just have to follow this invisible line. Which is somewhere here. Nope, I've gone over it again. Oh, I hate that invisible boundary line. Actually, it would be quite interesting to have like a hologram. So you can switch on a holographic line of your boundary, which you can then turn off again, just for this purpose. Yeah, I'm going over it again. Oh, crikey, where is it? Where is our boundary? Anyway, you get the idea. You can see this sort of size plot. It's only small, maybe very good for potatoes. But if not, still worth cutting this anyway for a bit of extra silage. Unbelievably, everything up there is out of bounds, which is kind of crazy. I knew that some of it would be, but not that much. Hmm, a roller has appeared in my spot. Where could that have come from? Anyway, we might get half a bale. We'll see. But, no. And then we should get three. Three would be good. As I said, they're only small. And if we do need any more for the sheep, we can just give these grass bells to the sheep. But if not, I think wrapping them would be a wise idea. Silage is worth quite a bit. Actually, that is filling up quite quickly. And if we let it go here, entertainingly, it's going to go rolling. Or it's not. Typical. You see, whenever you want it to do something, it doesn't. Whenever you don't want it to do something, it does. Absolutely typical. Yeah, it is filling up fast. We might get six. Amazing. Chainsaw is spraying. Herbicide, I'm guessing. I don't know if you lose yield by herbicide spraying first, before germination. You might do. Right, well, yeah, let's let's just do this and then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll put the wrapper on and we'll wrap it. Well, I think actually that's gone really well because silage is worth so much money and there's quite a few thousand litres here. So just from a bit of rubbish land, we, we might have made, I don't know, £10,000? Seems kind of crazy. I'll put this one directly onto the trailer. Saves faffing about. don't think it's going to be a very full trailer, so I'll just put it here.
There we go. And can go back into the shed. And then those can go with the others, although obviously these are behind the others. So they probably don't want to be mixed up. In fact, maybe they should stay on the trailer. But that's all good. And then, yeah, that can be cultivated and we can do something with it, but we need to think about it. But I'm thinking potatoes. And then we could have maybe a potato factory of some form. Maybe. We'll have to see. There we go. All loaded. And yeah, keep them separate. Otherwise they're going to get mixed up and then they'll get sold as grass, which means, yeah, doing the wrapping would have been 100% pointless. So, this is a great place to leave the episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. There is a link down below for Chainsaw's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Please do remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.